everybody has a different relationship with the ocean. There's incredible moments and there's terrible moments. When a surfer is knocked unconscious, you only have about four to six minutes before they run out of oxygen. Lifeguards, it's like a group of warriors. In a moment's notice, they'll put their life on the line to save a perfect stranger. I've had multiple friends smash their head into the reef and, you know, thank God the lifeguards were there. I don't think they would have made it. For us growing up in Hawaii, surfing has always been like a village mentality or family atmosphere. Because when something happens here, everything stops. Because what we cherish is life in general. You don't become a lifeguard to be thanked. You become a lifeguard because you want to help people. It's such a rush to save another person's life. I always want to be there to be a first responder and give them their next birthday. When I do see somebody that could potentially have passed away is still around, that's the greatest gift there is, you know, is, is life itself. We are not divided by land, we are connected by water. Think about that. It doesn't matter where you are. It's real interesting, surfers get this real vibe of aggro and every guy for himself, I, I want the big wave. But when someone's in trouble, it's really wonderful how the lineup comes together. Look at that wave taking everyone out. The skis running for cover. We reach the victim no matter how big it is. 30 feet, 40 feet, 50 feet, 60 feet. We ain't gonna let go, bro. We ain't gonna let go.